What's going on YouTube? So I ordered a couple of these uh, little 20, 24 watt uh, LED pods that you can mount on your truck or whatever you want. Trailers and uh, you know where, wherever you need a little extra light. Uh, so I ordered these on eBay. I got them for four of them for $30. And these, they say that uh, these are IP67, I believe, IP67 rated. Um, and we're going to be testing that today. So let me zoom in here and I'll show you what I got. So this is what I ordered. Uh, four 24 watt uh, Cree LED floodlight pods. It was $30 of free shipping. Um, so if we go down in the description down here. They claim that these are waterproof rating of IP67. Now, for those who don't know what that means, I have this other tab opened up here, and this explains what the IP rating is. Uh, so for IP67, the first number is going to be uh, 6, which is protection from dust, and then the last number, 7, is uh, protected against the effects of immersion in water to depth between 15 centimeters to 1 meter, which is about 3 feet. Um, so what I'm going to be testing today, I have a five gallon bucket filled up with water. It's got about 14 inches of water in it. Um, it's not three feet, but it'll get us pretty close to if these things are waterproof straight out of the box. Um, now this one here, I haven't done anything to it. Haven't sealed it up, siliconed it, anything. Um, all I did was solder a longer lead on here and I got a five gallon bucket set up down here and we'll get this thing turned on, put it in water and uh, see if it shorts out or see if it survives. So let me get that set up and I will be right back. Okay, got everything set up. I have uh, this little Cree LED pod hooked up to my power supply. I have my phone here for a timer. I have my five gallon bucket filled up with about uh, 13 and a half inches of water. So with IP67, another thing that I forgot to mention earlier um, is that it must survive uh, between 15 centimeters and one meter depth for 30 minutes. Um, now I'm not going to make this video 30 minutes, but I will cut the video in and out um, throughout this process to see how it's progressing. And then if at any point the light fails, uh, we'll see at what point it failed. So I'm going to turn my power supply on. And now this, I have not done this yet, so I will be as surprised as you are. Uh, if this works or if this does not work. So I got my timer here. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer and dunk it in water. See if I can get it to... Well, so far so good. So we'll uh, we'll check in on it here in a little bit. We'll leave the timer running and see what it looks like. Okay, so far we are about two minutes into this test and it's still going strong. I've seen a couple air bubbles come up, but I don't think that that was air bubbles inside the housing. Those may have just been uh, little air pockets that were trapped around the cooling fins uh, when I dropped it in the water. So we'll uh, check back on it here in a little bit. Okay, so we're at about three and a half minutes and it just let a whole bunch of air out. Um, I'm going to probably say that that was in the housing itself. Um, I just caught the tail end of it on the camera. But we'll, uh, we'll let it run just a little while longer and see what it does. Okay, so we just passed the 10 minute mark uh, with this thing being submerged in water. And I haven't seen any more air bubbles coming out of it. It appears to be going strong. Um, I don't see any reduction in light 
um, and I haven't seen any real increase or decrease in amp draw uh, to indicate if something's wrong internally. So we'll let this continue to run until either it fails and shorts out or we've reached the 30 minute mark, um, at which point I pull it out of the water and we'll take a look and see if it had any water ingress get in past the seals um, to look at the quality of this. So we'll check back here in a little bit. Okay, we just passed the 30 minute mark. Set to focus. So let me move this out of the way, turn the power supply off. So there doesn't appear to be any water ingress in the, the lens itself. Uh, and the light's still working. Surprisingly enough, I would have thought this thing would have burned up after just a few minutes, um, if not almost immediately. But it survived a full 30 minutes at a foot of water, uh, and it doesn't look like it suffered any type of damage. There's no uh, condensation or anything inside the lens. Um, so overall, that's pretty impressive. I think. I'm gonna try and find me a container where I can get three feet of water so I can test it at the, uh, the one meter level <clears throat> just to see how good this thing is and if they'll actually hold up. But uh, you know, under normal circumstances, the thing, this thing wouldn't be in a foot of water for half an hour, um, you know. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. I was not expecting that. But uh, I'll see if I can get uh, the actual test going with the, the three feet of water. Um, and I'll do that in another video. But that's it for now. We'll see you guys next time.